and the music goes off so that I can share the video with you. Hello, it is Saturday now, the 15th of August, and I want to do a review of the latest thing I've received from Discus Music. Hats off to Discus Music. I love it when I get something that it's like I don't really have to think about too hard about what to say because it it hits my, hits my good bones right away and what I'm about to show you here is Love Notes in Binary Code by Craig Green guitarist these are duets with the drummer Clive Deemer. I uh, was not familiar with uh, Craig Green offhand, his background, but uh, the drummer I am, I saw him when he um, toured with Radiohead. He's played with a lot of people, it turns out. He's played on some cool stuff. Ronnie Size represent, among other things. I like this right away and I love it when something starts and the immediate experience of the music is inviting and warm. The way I'm going to endeavor to just play the, be the beginning notes of this. Um, Martin, you're doing a great job. Oops, with your, with your label. A lot of variety and also I think you take risks. You know, you're follow you're following your own muse regarding what what you um, I think this is right. What you think is good in music, and I I, I applaud that because it's never going to be universal. But this really starts. Listen to this. That's a, that that was enough for me to know. Okay, this is a room, a space, a place that is inviting me in. And um, it's lovely. Um, Ralph Towner came to mind for a minute. Um, he doesn't play like Ralph Towner, but that sort of approach. Um, I love the way this is recorded and the percussionist, they're working really well together. Um, listening and um, really honoring what each other is doing with with their instrument. I love that graphic too. Um, I'm glad that I have the freedom to honestly respond. I try to be, respond as honest as positively as possible to stuff even that I don't really care for doesn't really hit me well. And I've gotten some things from Discus where they, it just didn't gel with me right away and some things still haven't. This one right away does and I want to highly recommend this. Love Notes in Binary Code Craig Green. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep this one short because this is my focus. I'm going to speak um, so about um, my channel here before I go. But this first part is for, for you, Martin, and for your label discus. Thank you for sending me the review copy. You have good ears and a good sensibility when it comes to music. And I can strongly and honestly recommend this release. Love Notes and Binary Code, Craig Green. Um, probably doesn't do any good to say it, but since it's on my mind, um, something I've noticed about folks who tried to get at me um, in a critical way, particularly Trump supporters, is their tactic is um, really ineffective because it's very, uh, it's very um, immature. The first thing is to try to pull you in and, and ask, you know, this. it's really very, very immature. 
So I don't see what's wrong with him. Tell me what's wrong with him. I and my response is, I don't have to. And this is a tactic I, I just dealt with for the umpteenth time from a stranger. That's why I'm talking about this. Maybe you're still watching. I don't care, you know, because they'll try it. It's like they try to chum you. First, they try to, like, lure you in. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what is What has Trump done that's so bad? Why do you hate him? You know, and... Um, First thing is, you know, again, trying to load their gun. I've never used the word hate. That's an assumption, okay? And then when they don't get, when they don't get a bite, because that's what they're looking for is a reaction, then they try to get personal, you know, which reveals, number one, their immaturity, their purpose, which is not a good purpose, just out to cause shit, you know, and it, again, just proves my point, you know. Well, look at this. Look at the kind of people that support Trump. Look at the caliber of people. Look at what kind of immature, no integrity, um, selfish, you know. Folks trying to come at me talking about how I'm obsessed with race. That's, you know. You know, and it's always a, a person, a white person or a non-person of color, got no business telling me because you don't know. You have never walked a mile in this skin. You have no idea. So I'm just letting everyone know that these tactics only work on idiots, okay? Not over here.